Hello friends, happy Monday and welcome back to another Mindset Monday tip for your week. I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and are ready for this mindset tip. And I want to share with you that this mindset tip was inspired by one of my new favorite podcasts, the Hello 7 podcast. Um, it's hosted by Rachel Rogers. If you have not heard of it, you've never you know, heard of Rachel Rogers, please go check her out. That is an amazing podcast. If you're a business owner, um, she has a new book called We Should All Be Millionaires, which I highly recommend as well. But I want to talk about something that she said in one of her podcast episodes a couple of weeks ago that I was listening to that really changed things for me. And it really got me thinking about the mindset shifts that occurs when you ask yourself this question. Okay. The question I'm going to ask you today, I hope is going to unlock all kinds of thoughts going to unlock inspiration and motivation and ideas that you've been kind of sitting on to really help build the momentum and get you moving forward. Okay. Are you ready for the question? <laughs> the question is this, are you committed? Are you committed to your path? Are you committed to your desire? Are you committed to creating the life that you say you want to create? Are you committed? Have you committed to going all in? Have you committed to the outcome that you ultimately want to see in your life? That's the question, right? And the question is bigger than you just going, oh yeah, of course I am, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm committed. That's the thing that I want. But really understanding what commitment means. When you commit to the path, when you commit to your desire, when you commit to the outcome, what you're saying is that you're willing to do what it takes, that you're willing to shift your mind, you're willing to move through the challenges, you're willing to learn and grow and invest and evolve in creating whatever it is that you ultimately want to create right? It changes your mindset because when you're not committed, here's what happens. You fall off, you hit challenges, and then you start wondering if this is the thing that, that you were meant for. You start questioning yourself. You wonder if this is something that you should be doing or shouldn't be doing, right? Challenges come up and maybe you kind of go, yeah, well, it just didn't work out. So I guess that's a sign that means I'm not supposed to have that business. I'm not supposed to write that book. But when you commit, you move through challenges differently. You see them differently. You respond to them differently. You don't go into them thinking, oh, well, this must mean that I'm not meant to, you know, be this opera singer, or it must mean that I'm not meant to be successful in this way. No, you look at that challenge and you find a way around it. You know that there are opportunities. You know that there's something available to you when you are committed. So the message I have for you today is to ask yourself, have you committed? Have you committed to going all in in your mindset? Have you committed to going all in and learning what you need to learn, going through the tough stuff, investing in your future, taking the steps you know you need to take to get to the other side? Have you committed to that? And if the question is no, is today that day? Is today the day that you commit? You get to decide, right? So. If you have not committed to your vision, to the path, to the purpose, to the outcome that you want, I want to invite you to think about what that would look like for you. What would you need to think? What would change about your life if you committed to that outcome? If you decided that you were willing to do what it takes to get to that thing, right? What would that next step be? And I want to remind you that if you're not doing those things, you have every opportunity now to shift that. You can do things differently. You can think differently. You can hire someone. You can, you know, book a consultation with me. You can do any number of things to get started, but you have to decide and you have to decide to go all in because when you don't, your energy is not behind you, right? When you make a commitment, it goes beyond just your mind. When you make a commitment, it goes just it, it goes beyond the actions that you're taking. What ends up happening is there is an energetic sort of surge that happens. You make the commitment and then the universe conspires to help you, to support you every step of the way, every step that you take, every thought that you think, right? Every intention that you have gets supported, but it starts with you. So think about those thoughts, think about those purposes, think about the passion and the path that you have and the outcome that you desire. And I want you to ask yourself, are you committed? And if you are, I want to know, post a comment in uh, the comments below. Let me know what you have committed to for the rest of the year. What is that path, that purpose, that outcome that you are committed to? And if you're unsure, if you have questions and you want some support, feel free to reach out. Okay. I hope you guys are having a great rest of the week. I hope this inspires you and motivates you. And if you have questions or you're interested in learning more about 
how we can commit to this together, how you can get support working through your mindset, feel free to reach out and let's book a chat. Okay. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.